Welcome Capricorn and Cross Watchers. This is Mystic Intuition bringing you your March 2020 general love reading. Please keep in mind that time is fluid, so whenever you are viewing this, it could be a past, present, or future situation for you. If it does not resonate at all, please try checking your moon, rising, and Venus signs for love. There are timestamps in the description box below if you would like to skip to the actual reading. I would appreciate it if you guys would stay here for the announcement. I have recently announced that I am going to be doing a giveaway for three of my subscribers. They'll be winning a 20 minute reading each month. Since announcing that giveaway, I have had countless emails and messages from people begging to win the reading. And I am truly empathetic to all of you because I truly wish that I could give readings out to everyone, but I physically can't. And it's not fair because nobody is more deserving than any other person. I know that you guys are reaching out because you're having a hard time and you really need guidance. But I want to make this very clear. Anyone who tries to reach out to me inappropriately and beg for a free reading will automatically be disqualified because I am not going to choose favorites with anybody here. All of you have the, an equal chance of winning. With that being said, I am going to have to change how entries are received, and that is specifically because I want to make sure that this is fair. If I announce a winner, you know, and three people would, who are that person message me, there's no way for me to confirm who's who. So I would really appreciate it if you guys would follow me on Instagram. If you would like to enter for um, a free reading each month, comment on any of my posts. Um, any February post will enter you to win for February. February winners will be announced March 1st and so on and so forth. That way I can actually privately message you guys and make sure that you are receiving your winnings. You know, because I can individually contact you guys. Like, is there anything else I need to say? Mm, I don't think so. All right, so Capricorn, during your pre-shuffle, I feel like for some of you, this is a reconciliation kind of situation. I feel like now you tried to put up like an emotional wall from this person or vice versa, cross watchers. Like you tried to block your heart from this individual, but it's like you can't. It's like no matter how hard, like no matter how much they hurt you, no matter how hard you try to fight it, you physically can't block this person out because you love this person you're supposed to be with this person i feel like you know that seven of wands what were we just saying this is a card about blocking you've been trying to block this person out of your heart space you've been trying to guard your heart protect yourself from this person but it's like no matter how hard you try you have you have too much love for this person too much desire for this person and you can't fight the connection you just can't and it's like you you can't be without this person no matter how much distance you try to put up there and keep my cross watchers this could apply vice versa just apply how it resonates and you know it may or may not even correlate with the actual reading but i was just getting the sense that like no matter what you try to do you try to think about other stuff this person's on your mind you try to date other people this person is on your mind you try to move on with your life this person is on your mind like you've never truly been able to let them go and i feel like they've never been able to let you go either and i feel like they're coming back into the picture here they're coming back because they can't give up because they feel connected to you. We have official person. And toll and labor. On the bottom of the deck here we have expectation. I'm actually going to leave this out because I feel like it needs to be here. Sorry, if you can't see all the cards, I'll try to hold them all up for you, but I just want to kind of have them out here so I can see them. All right. So, Capricorn, I'm going to read your energy here, your person's energy here. It can be flipped to reverse, so just apply it however it resonates, okay? I do apologize. I am still sick, so I am having a cough drop right now. So I do apologize, you guys. All right. We have the Three of Swords. So, interestingly enough, I think it was... Well, I don't remember what reading was I did, but somebody had Three of Swords in the same placement. So, this is feeling heartbroken, right? Feel like your heart's ripped out of your chest. And it's like, there's a mourning here, like a loss here. It's like there's something coming between you and the situation. It's like, now when people see the Three of Swords, it doesn't mean your person doesn't love you. If anything, the opposite. Because somebody's heart would not be broken here if there wasn't love in it, right? And there's like a mourning and a loss here, right? 
it's there's something coming between the connection now this can be a lot of things a third party doesn't have to be a physical person it can be for others of you that third sword is drinking addictions gambling working too much addicted to negative thinking like whatever it is whatever that pertains to be it can even be physical distance it comes between the relationship right we have these six of swords so this is movement again this indicates travel for some of you there could be physical distance here between you and this person this is more air energy Gemini Libra Aquarius but like there's movement happening here it's like making that decision to move where things are peaceful and calmer I'm noticing her in this boat you know she's holding on to the bow she's embracing the light see I mean she's moving from the darkness into the light embracing a change there's positive movement forward here it's like you're letting go of any heartache from the past and you're moving toward a new phase in your life we have the four of cups so you may feel or your person may feel rejected here it's like and, I, and i'm really feeling like it's not that you don't want to pick up that cup but it's like you can't there's something in the way of the connection it's like capricorn if this is your person it's not that they don't love you because, you know, cups are emotional, but it's like they can't move forward and they are like suspended in this place of waiting, right? Waiting for the right opportunity, right? waiting to move towards you. And they're leaving this behind because I feel like there's positive movement here, change here. I feel like there's a lot of pain here. You're trying to go through a period of healing. And we have the Empress, Taurus, Libra energy. So you could be moving toward a Taurus or Libra. But this is a divine feminine energy. The divine, the divine feminine is this signifies like a nurturing, healing kind of energy. Someone who is very nurturing. There's a lot of abundance and growth here. I'm kind of feeling like she's very empathic she's very compassionate i kind of feel like you're moving toward that like you're moving okay i have some specific messages i'm gonna say what i see please keep in mind this is a general reading so the whole reading may resonate for you one sentence may resonate for you you know half of it may resonate for you none of it may resonate it's just for you know the collective this could be specific but i feel like Either you're moving towards someone who has been nurturing in your life, who has been healing in your life, or they're moving towards you. Because whoever the feminine, keep on, we all have masculine and feminine energies, but one of you is always going to be more feminine, you know. Moving toward that energy, that healing energy. So this could be your person moving towards you if you're, if you're the feminine. Maybe this... Maybe this person is, is fearful of rejection because they, okay, maybe I'm getting this, but maybe they, they chose wrong in the past. Okay, I have the message. I have it. I have it. They chose wrong in the past. They chose the third party, whatever that pertains to be. They chose wrong. That's what I'm hearing. They chose wrong. They chose wrong and now they're moving toward where they feel safe and they're afraid that you're going to reject them. That's what I'm feeling. Because maybe you've blocked your heart from this person. Maybe you physically blocked the person on social media. But now they, they realize they chose wrong in the past. And so for your person here, we have Page of Swords. Yes, they're watching you, uh, air energy. This person's watching you. This person's trying to get information. They're trying to get understanding here. They want to know what you're doing, where you're at. And they want to know how you're going to receive them. If they come back into the picture, back towards your healing energy, are you going to accept them? Are you attached to somebody else? Whatever the case is, they want to know because they feel like, you know, you were the one. Nobody was able to compare to you because you're the, you're the divine feminine, right? Like you're the empress, male or female, doesn't matter. Eight of swords, this person is trapped in their head. They cannot stop thinking about you. This person, this person has never been able to let you go. If there was ever separation or distance here, this person never, you were never far from their mind. 
if they chose wrong in the past, you never left their mind. You never left their mind. They realized they made a mistake and now they're fearful that you are going to reject them or vice versa, cross watcher. We have the queen of swords. So more, there's strong air energy here. I feel like this person, you know, the queen of swords is someone who air signs get a very bad rap for being unemotional or detached. That's not the case. They just have this amazing ability to separate their emotions and their logic and, and, you know, take care of business. You know, if they have to cut ties with you, they're going to do it. I feel like this person is willing to stand up and fight for this connection. You know, they don't want this to go. They, they are like, they're in a period of waiting, being in their head, but they're about to come back and fight for this connection because they don't want to give you up and they realize they made a mistake. They chose wrong. I keep hearing that. I chose wrong. I up. That's what I'm good. I'm not going to, you know, but they messed up. They know they chose wrong. Nine of Swords, yeah. Anxiety, despair, nightmares. I mean, trouble sleeping. I mean, this person, remorse. This person is filled with insecurities and doubt and worries. And this person, I mean, I can't, listen, I can't, listen, all this sword energy right here. Let me just show you this. Look at all this sword energy right here. This person is, I, they are heavily, heavily thinking about you they you are never it's it's almost unhealthy this person never stops thinking about you this person has never let go of this connection even if they walked away even if they made a choice in the wrong direction even if they made a commitment or a connection somewhere that isn't, isn't panning out now whatever happened they never let you go and i don't think they I think they already they already knew that. We have the four of pentacles here. What did I just say? They did not let you go. They earth energy. They have never let you go. They are not willing to give up this connection. What's crossing that Gemini energy? There is strong air energy here in this reading. Um, so you may have strong air in your chart, or they may have strong air in their chart. This is making a choice in love making a choice for a soulmate connection for those of you who are not involved in a third party situation in any way shape or form just make a decision for love because this person has never never let you go capricorn this person's never given up on you this person knows they made the wrong choice because their commitment is being tested now what they chose it's not panning out they're realizing something with official person here you know they could be someone who maybe they have appearances to keep up maybe they have um someone who's respected you know this could be you know someone like who's in the military or a manager or whatever this is they have responsibilities they have obligations they have appearances to keep up this is someone in the spotlight maybe they have a large social media following and they have to keep that picture of having the perfect family or they have obligations with their job or something like of that nature. But this person, they're realizing they made the wrong choice. And it has been exhausting. This person is at their wit's end. This person is ready to give up. This person is is waiting, longing to be with you. This person is expecting you to reach out or vice versa. We have the seven of wands this person i feel like you've tried to block them from your heart space or vice versa but it's not working there is like a constant battle within their mind like here you are doing your own thing and here they are sitting there like look, look at how the like look at how there's like literally snow right here around her like they're out in the cold they're 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 within reach of you maybe not physically for some of you but it's like they could reach out, but they're choosing to like sit there in the cold and not reach out to you because they're fighting with themselves. They're so afraid of what they feel and they're afraid of being rejected. But I feel like with the wheel here, this is an omen of good luck, of good fortune, things turning in your favor. Things are about to take a major shift here. Things are going to completely turn around because we have two of cups here. This is coming together, expressing your emotions, you know, opening up. I'm noticing her in a wedding dress as well. I mean, they, they're visualizing the future with you and they're heavily thinking and watching you. Mm. Um, two of Wands. 
this person's making a decision here. This person can't let you go. No matter, listen, no matter what this person's been doing, this person would, I'm hearing walk through fire for you. This person is on fire for you. This person would do anything to come back into the picture. Now, some of you, I don't feel like you're going to take this person back. For others of you, I think that you will, but it's like you're always going to have a guard up with this person. You're always going to be defensive because you're not going to fully trust this person because this person chose wrong in the past. Yeah. Eight of Pentacles. I feel like there's going to be work here. This person is willing. This person, if, if you accept them back, they're willing to put work in here. They're willing to show you that they've changed. Whether they have or they haven't, you know, I'm not, I don't, I don't know. This, it's a general. Some of you, yes. Some of you, no. But this person knows. I'll tell you that. This person knows they chose wrong. They know they messed up. They heavily regret what they did. Yeah, there's going to be some emotional communication here. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, energy. This person's going to emotionally communicate with you and tell you some things here. All right, let me get you some romance angels here and see if we can't get any additional messages. What messages do we have here? For Capricorn. Free yourself. It is time to take back control of your life. So for some of them, let's say it this way. For some of them who, who did choose a third party or like a job or something, they're freeing themselves from that because they want to be free to move towards you because you know you you are the, the choice they should have made and they're realizing this now and it shouldn't have even come to that because like even if they chose wrong the entire time you were separated or not talking they couldn't stop thinking about you chemistry there is a strong magnetic attraction here there's a pull here a strong divinely guided pull to be together that neither of you have ever been able to sever the tie on it's like this person is obsessively thinking about you it's like this person doesn't feel worthy of you this person worships the, the ground that you walk on this person would walk through fire for you this person would do anything would do anything for you it's like you're just this beautiful nurturing compassionate person that they have waited their whole life to be with and whatever happened they chose wrong they chose wrong in the past we have playfulness to recapture romance allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine so i feel like this person's going to come back they may just try to start off like friends they may try to be like flirty or kind of you know they're not going to try to get serious too fast because they don't think that you're going to accept them a card failed see. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. Yes. So some of them who chose the wrong thing, your commitment is being tested. They're not happy. They are not happy. They're not happy. This is... I, I'm, just, I'm just getting this energy of just longing and waiting. I mean, literally waiting by the phone, waiting by the window, in the car, going on a family vacation, and they're staring out the window waiting for you. They're waiting for you. They're visualized about a future with you, about moving towards you because you're a healing energy to them. And like, they just, now I will say this, for some of you, this person's toxic, straight up, this person is toxic, this person's bad news. I mean, this person is obsessive in a negative way. For others of you, and I feel a majority of you, this person, they know that they had to, they had to go through a karmic cycle to learn lessons, to prepare themselves for this connection. They had to go through this cycle to create some type of change within them to be ready for this commitment and it, i know that sounds horrible to say but those of you who like know like what twin flame connections and things like that you have to go through lessons you have to grow you have to choose wrong sometimes to prepare yourself it's all a part of the journey it, it, it it's horrible it's hard but it has to happen sometimes because they have to learn there's something that karmic was meant to teach them healing family issues your love life benefits as you forgive your parents so for some of them they may have had bad connections in the past and maybe when they saw how nurturing and kind you were they thought you were just too good to be true so they pulled into the opposite direction and they realized they messed up because they're not happy i'm literally seeing them just this is like reminding me of the three of wands like just longing looking out the window just waiting they are not happy and for those of you where they're you know not with you know a karmic or something like that releasing your ex could be releasing an addiction or something that they ch something that they're addicted to or obsessed with or something that comes between that connection getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other your bond deepens 
so I feel like you're learning you're learning each other all over again there's change here it's like there was a separation and now you're coming back together with this person and it's going to be completely up to you Capricorn what you want to do it is completely up to you what you want to do in this situation but I feel like there's a chemistry and a pool here and you feel that and they feel that and it's like they can't stay away from you they can't stop thinking I mean they're obsessed with you they're in love with you and they know they messed up I mean I'm, 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 I'm getting teary eyed like they don't even know how to approach you because they don't even feel worthy to come near you because they know how much they hurt you and they hurt themselves in the process they know they're the ones that messed up this connection and how do they make things right how do they make amends here they don't know how to approach you. All right, Capricorn, I hope that you enjoyed this reading. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I am wishing you all strength and many blessings. Bye-bye.